Highlighting the impact of the war in Ukraine and its ripple effects on other countries, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman on Tuesday said, Supply and value chains are all broken. Newer markets are emerging. At the same time, old markets are caught up in a situation when nothing is normal. Replying to the discussion on the Finance Bill 2022 and Appropriation Bill 2022, the minister said India continues to remain among the top five foreign direct investment recipient countries in the world, as per a UNCTAD report. The Uttar Pradesh government on Tuesday told the Supreme Court that the attack on a witness in the Lakhimpur Kheri violence case had nothing to do with that particular case. The state government claimed it was an altercation during Holi. The government claimed that the so-called attackers threw gulal on the person. The state government's response came after the witness, Diljot Singh, lodged an FIR and said the attackers threatened him, saying that Respondent number 1, Ashish Mishra, is out on bail and the ruling party has also won the election and that they will see to him. Russia will radically reduce its military activity in northern Ukraine, including near the capital Kyiv, Moscow's negotiators said today. The decision came after what Moscow called was meaningful talks in Istanbul. Given that the talks on the preparation of an agreement on the neutrality and non-nuclear status of Ukraine have moved into a practical field, a decision has been made to radically, by several times, reduce the military activity in the areas of Kyiv and Chernigiv, Russia's Deputy Defence Minister Alexander Fomin said. Twin setbacks for Imran Khan as two more lawmakers quit the ruling alliance on Tuesday to join the opposition ahead of the no-confidence vote in the Pakistan alliance. The strength of opposition has now gone up to 170 and just needs two votes to defeat the Imran Khan government. The opposition has now alleged that a desperate Imran Khan in an attempt to save his government has now resorted to witchcraft. PMLN President Shahbaz Sharif, while speaking to Pakistani news channel Aaj News, alleged that tons of chickens were being burnt at Imran Khan's Bani Gala residence to save his government. Chennamma Devigora, the wife of former Prime Minister H.D. Devigora, received a notice from the Income Tax Department. Her son, H.D. Revanna, said. Speaking to reporters in Hassan on Monday, Revanna, who is a former state minister, said, let the IT department issue notice to us. Now they are issuing notice to my mother. We are growing sugarcane on our land. They should come, see and do drone surveys on the land. Have my parents made crores of rupees? Have we purchased any new property? Why is one political party being targeted? He said. 